Kimono Dragon. The following video is rated N. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Kimono Dragon. So it's pretty obvious that I love comic books, but I also love the martial arts. So the characters that I favor are the ones who are more proficient in the martial arts. So let me talk about this guy for a second. Tony Masters, or AKA the Taskmaster. Created by David Michelini and George Perez, he made his first appearance in the Avengers 195 in May of 1980. Taskmaster is a phenomenal hand-to-hand -hand combatant. He is a master assassin and tactician. He has Olympic level conditioning. He is a master of the sword and projectile weapons. He has a genius level intellect. He also has what is called a photographic reflex. He can predict an opponent's physical movements. And he is a master of disguise and voice mimicking. This means that he only needs to watch a fighting style one time before he's able to perfectly duplicate that style and beat the opponent he's facing. Though these feats may seem far beyond a normal human's capabilities, most writers who have taken on a Taskmaster story have been reluctant to call this a superpower. Taskmaster or Tony Masters first displayed this ability as a child while watching a cowboy show on TV. He noticed that soon after watching these cowboys in action, he was able to duplicate their sophisticated rope tricks. Astounded by what she just saw, Tony's mother had him evaluated by a psychiatrist. It was determined that he had some sort of photographic memory that was later called photographic reflexes. After using his newfound abilities to become his high school star quarterback, he sat down and binged watch Kung Fu Theater. That's not quite right, but he did go and look at some archival footage of superheroes in action so he can mimic their moves. Deciding that being a villain would be a lot more lucrative than being a superhero, he would begin to build a criminal empire through combat training academies. Here he would train impressionable youths and social castaways, the different styles of fighting he learned by watching superheroes in action. These trainees would then go on to fight for various criminal groups, making him a ton of money in the process. Similar to Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat, his fighting styles have been said to come directly from such heroes as Elektra, Iron Fist, and Shang-Chi. From this group, he would gain his hand-to-hand -hand skills. His mastery of swordsmanship came directly from the Black Knight in the Silver Samurai. His accuracy with projectile weapons was said to come from Captain America, Hawkeye, the Punisher, and Bullseye. His athletic movement derived from Black Panther and Daredevil. The only person that the Taskmaster cannot mimic is Deadpool. This is because Deadpool is batshit crazy. It is impossible for the Taskmaster to predict his movements. Because of this anomaly, Deadpool has beaten Taskmaster in combat a handful of times. Though his schemes are mostly villainous, he has showed good intentions on occasion, even going as far as training US government agents and superheroes like Spider-Woman. It was later explained that each time the Taskmaster uses his photographic reflexes, he would lose a personal memory. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing the Taskmaster in the MCU because it's not a matter of if, it's when. He may show up in the Shang-Chi movie as maybe an anti-hero because you can't just throw him away. If you put him in as a villain, you can't just have his ass get kicked and, you know, we never see him again in the movies. You know, we, we got to see this guy show up because he has to interact with all of the, the heavy hitters in fighting. You know, Captain America, he has to face off against Black Panther. Uh, we got to see him against Shang-Chi. Uh, you know, we got to see him against Iron Fist. So what do you guys think in the comments? Where should he show up? What should he do? Peace. Please like and subscribe to the Kimono Dragon. If you do not, 
Then I guess you are a fool.